Uh, okay, um, today we're going to continue to talk about um, dynamic playing, how to react in uh, concrete positions. And the second game I'm going to introduce to you, it's uh, from 2004. Um, I played an open tournament in Linsburg, Kansas. And I face um, also very strong international master, uh, Steve Mohammed. And it was very interesting game and game because um, as it... Um, Situation was really interesting tournament. We both need to play for win, and that's actually um, you know give me a shot to, I mean to play something interesting. So I'm black uh, versus Muhammad Steve. Well, usually I'm not playing this time with the seven move uh, because time with the seven is really sharp move to go. I usually prefer here to play <coughs> uh, either e six uh, or I mean, or even still when I be the seven. But uh, when I play time with the seven, not c four, I'm usually playing here uh, not b six, uh, like most positional way to play against this lion. But as I mentioned before, uh, the game um, you know re require. Um, I mean, the requirement was for me is to play for win only, and that's why I chose here the move queen c7. Uh, I believe this is uh, had been introduced first by Morozevich. So the idea is actually to play e5 right away to attack the center, and it's very wild move. It's very it's very sharp move. Uh, it's usually I mean leading to unclear positions. So uh, my opponent went here queen d2. Uh, to be honest. I, I didn't know this move before when I prepared for the game. I had no idea what to do against this move because I haven't seen this move ever in my life. Um, the Typically, which positions you're going to get here, uh, it's um, main move here, g3, when white trying to simply support uh, bishop f4 move by having pawn on g3. And usually it goes e5, uh, de, not e5, bishop f4. And uh, we have so much crazy stuff here, something like uh, not d7, following by sometimes f6, sometimes by g5. So it's really a um, really wild game. When I face knight queen d2, first I ha I mean I ask myself, okay, what's what's the idea? So what's the idea? And after a couple minutes of thinking, I figure out. Well, the idea is kind of obvious, because if I try to play e5, then I might be in real trouble, because we have a pin, and we have attacked uh, bishops, can double attack. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.